Now at 11 o'clock, the coronavirus outbreak stealing some couples' dreams of being parents. The pandemic brought travel to a halt that made it impossible for people in other countries to come to America and take home babies born to surrogates. Eyewitness News reporter Eileen Frere has more. Heather Regan, a proud mom of two, says she was excited to help others struggling to have a child by becoming a surrogate for a couple from China. But then came COVID-19. I never thought this was going to happen, you know, having a baby during COVID. Neither did the agency helping her, the Ake Donor and Surrogacy Institute, or EDSI, headquartered in Beverly Hills. Nobody wants to be in this situation. It is not easy for anyone. The Arizona resident remembers the phone call from the baby's parents. They weren't going to come and it was... It was devastating because the whole reason that I wanted to do it was so that they could be there when I had the baby to hear him first cry, you know, all of that. Regan gave birth to a baby boy named Jasper in June. His intended parents still in China, the pandemic closing international borders. EDSI says it's seen more than 25 babies born since the start of the pandemic, many with parents from China where surrogacy is banned. EDSI's managing director, Parham Zar, says foreign parents face a range of challenges to unite with their U.S.-born babies. Whether they can get a visa to the United States, whether the, even if they have the visa, whether the United States is allowing them to enter the country. Zar says pre-COVID, they would never consider a surrogate taking care of the child because of bonding issues, but COVID changed that. Some have become temporary guardians. Others are being cared for by nannies through EDSI. We make sure that they are fed, that they are held, that they are touched, that they are loved until they can be reunited with their parents. Regan says a nanny cared for Jasper in Los Angeles until his parents managed to get here a month and a half after his birth. For the others, uncertainty. I really hope and pray, pray that they can all reunite with their children as soon as possible. Eileen Frere, ABC7 Eyewitness News.